Wow. So for the today, but welcome everybody to Let's Chat, episode three today. So I hope that you are having a a good start to the week, and I hope you have got some great intentional goals that you want to achieve this week as well. So um, <clears throat> the chats are going well. I think that. Talking about your goals, talking about what you want to achieve, and we're all talking about weight loss here. So we're all talking about losing weight for the very last time. And today's topic is something that I've been wanting to talk about for a long time. And today is all about, does your environment support your weight loss goals? Does your environment support you losing weight for the very last time because the environment is a place that we get energy from and it really sets to tone and it really sets it up how we achieve things and I know that when I was losing my weight <coughs> and I mean I'm thinking back 16 years ago what was my environment like was it negative was it positive was it supportive was it inspiring? Was it a place that would influence me and in how I went about in losing my weight for the very, very, very last time? And you could have all the right tools and intentions around you when it comes to losing weight for the very last time. But if you're in an environment that is not supporting or growing or helping you, in moving towards that direction of losing your weight for the very last time, it's going to be very hard in achieving your goals. Why? Because, let's think about it, the people around you, are they supporting you? You see, when a flower doesn't bloom, you need to fix the environment in which that flower grows. Now, my grandfather, you know, he, when I think about my grandfather, my late grandfather, I think about his vegetable garden. He loved his garden. Being Italian, they lived for their garden. His garden, the whole yard was his garden. Tomatoes, spinach, fig tree, lettuce, everything was grown from the garden. Now, if that garden was looked after, it wasn't fertilized or watered or sheltered or pruned and cleaned, then that garden, his vegetable garden, would not have produced all the fruits, all the vegetables, making all that nice tomato sauce, all the herbs, the parsley, the basil, it would never, never grown. So he, my grandfather kept his garden, his environment healthy. A healthy environment, you will thrive. You will get the best out of it because whatever you put into it is what you get out of it. Food, shelter, sunlight is what makes fruit and vegetables grow. The same with you, the same with us when it comes to losing weight for the very last time. It's our environment. And like I said before, when a flower, you are the flower, right? Go yourself a flower, any flower. Doesn't bloom, doesn't blossom. Fix the environment in which it grows in. There is nothing wrong with a the flower. There is nothing wrong with you. It's what's around you. And, and it needs to be an environment that supports you. So let's look at your kitchen, for example, and how organized your kitchen is and what's in your cupboard and what's in your fridge. Now, losing weight for the very last time, for me, it's not about taking food away from you. That's a diet. I don't do diets. They're a waste of time. Don't get me started. But you need to create your kitchen in an environment 
that is going to support your course. That's going to support you losing weight for the very last time. So you need to know your triggers. What triggers you? If there's a certain food that triggers you, that makes you overeat, that makes you go to because of comfort. Now I'm saying to you right now, don't look at that, you're going to take that food away from you. So if you love ice cream or you love cookies or chocolate or whatever it is, then there is no point of you having that food that creates that trigger in your environment at this current moment. It doesn't serve you. Later on, when you are stronger, later on, when you're able to change your habits and your behavioral patterns and you're strong enough, then that's fine. But at this present moment, when I lost my weight, I got rid of those foods that I knew that will create a trigger that wasn't right for my environment. So look at your kitchen, look what's in your cupboard, look what's in your fridge, look how organized you are. Are you prepared? Do you have a meal plan? Do you know what you're going to eat for the rest of the week? Because there'll be times when you're tired and when you're tired and when you're frustrated, you make bad decisions, bad choices. And every choice you make, every decision you make, comes with consequences. So we need to be proactive when we are losing weight for the very last time. So you have a plan in place. So let's start with your kitchen environment. I want you to set up your kitchen, set up your cupboard, your fridge, to the point that it supports your environment at the moment when it comes to losing weight for the very last time, long term. So remove anything that's going to influence you. That's it. I mean, food is very important to us and we need to make conscious and right decisions and, and we'll be able to replace it. Replace that food with another type of food that's gonna support your environment, support your weight loss. Okay, so so these, what we're talking about today is what's, what you struggle with when it comes to losing weight for last time and making sure that your environment is set up so it doesn't fail you, that, that it supports you. People, okay, this is the interesting one. Um, the people that you surround yourself with, the people that you hang out with, do they support you. It doesn't mean that they have to do exactly what you're doing, but support you, encourage you. They tell you that they've got your back. Now, when I was losing my weight, that was challenging because it was that fine line of the relationship you had with your partner, with your family, with your friends, with your colleagues is that you didn't want to lose that relationship because you were losing your weight, right? You still want to not gain weight, but you want to remain those friendships in your life. It's a balancing act. Now, those people really support you and love you and care about you and are truly your friends, then they will understand you. They will be there for you, they will help you stay accountable like a good mentoring does, that's what I do. But they won't sabotage you, or they won't tempt you, or they won't leave you out. So the people that we surround ourselves with shape our mind, our mindset, it shapes how we think, how we look at things, how we speak to ourselves. So it's very important that your environment, now we're talking about people, do they add value or do they take value? Are they negative? Do they 
steer you in the right direction or the wrong direction. And that is what you need to really understand. I lost many friends throughout my weight loss journey because I realized that some of the friends I had were sabotaging my environment, were making my environment toxic. My grandfather used to always spray the tomatoes, put tomato powder and the insects will come along and start eating the leaves and start bruising the tomatoes. He had to use the powder to get rid of the insects because they were sabotaging and they were killing the tomatoes. The same with people. You need to do it quickly because if you don't address it and if you just sweep it under the carpet, it will just get bigger and bigger and bigger. You need to address it straight away so you can blossom, you can grow and you can start losing weight for the very last time because how many times are we going to stop and start, stop and start, stop and start and then we realize 10, 20, 30 years have gone by. When is enough is enough. So that is why your environment around you is very important. I'm not saying that you have to abandon your family or your friends or isolate yourself. But you just need to be aware when you start to go off track, what is it in your environment that is causing you to go off track? What are the distractions or the detours or the diversions that is not supporting you losing your weight for the very last time. Remember, goals point you in the right direction where you want to be. But habits and your behavior in your environment determines your progress. So you need to really understand about the progress that you are making through your environments. Your environment really influences you in how you are moving forward with your momentum. It also gives you inspiration. So, okay, your environment. Let's look at your working environment, for example. So we've, sp we've spoken about the food environment. We've spoken about the people environment. Let's look at your working environment. Does your working environment support your you losing weight for the very last time. So you need to be prepared for this. So are you easily influenced to go out and, and have those lunches and those drinks that aren't really supporting your weight loss goal with losing weight for the very last time? So one way to help you still be a part of your team is to bring your own lunch, bring your own snacks, be prepared because it's okay that you can still eat and those people that respect you, those people that support you, those people that understand you and see you, that you are bringing your lunch, that you are bringing your own snacks, you can still enjoy each other's company and you can still talk to each other but you are bringing and you are supporting your environment by being prepared and bringing those snacks and bringing those meals with you. There is nothing wrong with that. And this is when you must understand, does your environment support you losing weight for the very last time? Your work environment, your home environment, the people around you, and the other environment that you need to understand and you need to be aware of is you, is your mindset. How do you speak to yourself? You know, what is your internal dialogue? Do you tell yourself that you can't do it? Do you tell yourself you can't do this? Do you make up excuses? Do you have all these barriers? Are you stuck? So your internal environment Sorry, I get my hands going. Your internal environment 
and what is in your head and how you speak to yourself. Do you speak to yourself as your best friend? I can do it. I've got this. I mean, so your, how is your internal environment, your internal dialogue, your, your, your mindset, what are you feeding inside? Is it time to let go of some of those beliefs and habits that aren't serving you? Because those habits and those beliefs, when you're four or five or six or seven years old, aren't serving you right now because you're not that person. You can let go of those beliefs. You can let go of those habits. I mean, you don't need to finish off the food on your plate. Because if you, if, you, if you don't finish the food off your plate, you're going to get a smack. Well, I know I did. That's how it was back in the day. If I didn't eat my food off my plate, it was a sign of disrespect. And I get that. Because, you know, the families did it tough and didn't want to waste food. But you are not that person right now. So those beliefs, those habits, are not serving your environment. That is you, your internal self. You have to let go. You have to break through. You have to be able to get out of cocoon in order for you to transform into a butterfly. Did you know that a butterfly only lives for 10 weeks? But they go through four cycles. The egg, the caterpillar, the cocoon in the, into, a, into a butterfly. They never, it, takes them, it takes them 48 hours to master how to fly, but no one told them how to fly because not carrying any bad memories or past. So what I'm trying to say to you, besides your kitchen, besides the people around you, your working environment, but then your internal environment, letting go of the past, letting go of old beliefs, letting go of the old habits, are they influencing you when it comes to losing weight for the very last time? So, yeah, I get myself all going because it's, it's, it's it, your environment sets you up. It, it gives you energy. It feeds you. It influences you. It inspires you. It, it's a, your environment is a place to where you, you thrive or you die. You, you can make the decisions and choices in a heartbeat straight away. You can control your environment that it is immediately around you within a heartbeat. And that's what you need to do because you have full control over that. If you don't like something, if you don't like the environment you're in, then you can change it. You don't need permission from anyone. You give yourself permission to move forward and start losing weight for the very last time. Because you are the flower and there is nothing wrong with you. If you are not blooming in your environment, then look at your environment. Look what is feeding you, what is feeding your mind, what is feeding your decisions, what is feeding your choices. I look at that. When I started losing my weight 16 years ago, I had to be honest. In order for me to succeed in losing my weight for the very last time, which I tried for, for a decade to lose weight, yes, one of the most important decisions I made is when I finally became the boss of it, instead of being bossed of it, and making my environment the way it is. I had to make it inspiring. Yes, I lost along the way. I lost friends. I mean, I lost, uh, unfortunately, my wife at that time only could take so much of the environment. I mean, so it wasn't because they changed. It's because what happened, we change. We change into, we come out of that cocoon and we come 
and we grow into this beautiful butterfly because we have created this environment that supports us in losing weight for the very last time. And I really, you know, really, really support in what you do. So when it comes to losing weight for the very last time, set your environment up. Set your environment up to win, not to fail. I want you to sit down today, pen and paper, like I do, <laughs> pen and paper and write down and put it into sections, your environment. So I want you to put yourself in the middle, right? I'm going to draw yourself in the middle. And excuse my drawing. You're in the middle, right? And you've got all these, you've got your environment around you. You have people, you have food, you have your workplace, and you have you, right? And all of these environments influences your decisions, influences your choices. It sets you up, your mindset. So you have this, doctors write in. You've got people, you've got you, your working environment, your food, all these different environments influencing you. Now we have over 60,000 thoughts a day. That's a lot of thoughts going through our heads. So I want you to write this list, people, food, Workplace, you. And underneath it, just write in point form. The people around you. Do a check on your kitchen, in your cupboard, in your fridge, your workplace, and yourself. How you speak to yourself. And get help. If you need help, or a mentor, or help, then get it. Be around mindful people that, that, that think the way you think and, and have similar goals that you have. And, and that creates energy and that creates what, where you want to be. You don't want to be around people that put you down and tell you you can't do it. Well, in my situation, people are telling me, don't throw away your old clothes because you want to get back into it. Like, how, how, how disheartens that? When I was losing my weight, and in a way, okay, they saw me go up and down, up and down, up and down, but they turn around and say to me, oh, don't throw your old clothes away. Did I want that in my environment? Did I want those people in my ear? Because that was shaping my mind. That was putting myself, that was putting myself down. Well, you need to lift yourself up. So your environment needs to be uplifted, needs to be inspirational, needs to be able to inf influence you in making the right decisions and the right choices to move you forward, create new habits and new behavior and new routines and new patterns for you to lose weight. You have to be prepared to do that, to, to do a health check on your environment. The sooner you do that, the sooner you will lose weight for the very, very, very last time. And it might be hard. There might be decisions that would be really hard to make, but you're gonna think of you. You, 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 you can't be left out anymore. I mean, if you, you put yourself last, then put yourself first. Put yourself in your diary. <laughs> I don't care what you do, just put yourself first. In order for you to grow, for order for you to, to lose weight for the very last time, do an environment check, health check today. And I promise you, this will help you lose weight for the very last time. And it's a really good topic because I've had a few people ask me about this. And I changed my environment completely. The first thing I identified when I was losing weight for a very last time, the, the environment that I fixed straight away was my food, my kitchen. 
I, that was my trigger. That was my downfall. I knew that out of mind, out of sight, just for that time being, for that moment, that was going to help me or serve me. Do I keep chocolate or ice cream or chips in my household right now? Yes, I do. Because over the years, it's taken time. It's taken many, many steps. And I've made many, many mistakes. And I've had many times where I've gone to them. But I am now strong enough. Willpower didn't get me here. All right? It's just the habits, the behaviors take time, but I've created an inspiring and healthy environment that supports my cause. And that's, that, that's why I did back in 2003, I looked in my kitchen. My kitchen my, wasn't supporting my goals because in a decision, someone pisses you off, you've had a bad day, you, you have a great day, you celebrate, and, and I will turn to food because food was my friend, food was comfort, food tastes great, the texture, the smell, it was all there. So look at that first. So today, I want you to look at your environment and and do a little you in the middle <laughs> and look at <clears throat> the people around you look at your 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 household your food your kitchen your cupboard around you look at your workplace and look at you your environment remember when a flower doesn't bloom Fix the environment in which it grows in, not the flower. You are the flower, these are the environments. Do your health check today so you can start losing your weight for the very last time. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Leanne, for watching. I really appreciate it. It really helps. Well, I do this irrespective, but it's very nice that people do log on um, and and, um, and I hope that this uh, Let's Chat has um, given you some ideas and direction. And exactly, Leanne, allow yourself to blossom. Allow yourself to come out of that cocoon after being there for two weeks, three weeks as a caterpillar, and, 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 and come out of that environment into a beautiful butterfly. So exactly, allow yourself to blossom. That's a really nice one actually. Could be another good uh, book title. But um, yeah, so I'm really happy and I really appreciate it. And it's, it's yeah, it's an, an exercise that we need to look at doing from time to time because you could be doing everything right around you, the right exercises, um, eating the right foods and and doing all of that, but it's, it's what's around us, what's the environment that we create. Like if you look at my house, it's, I work well in this environment because I like things neat and tidy and there's a place for everything where some people might not want that. So, so your kitchen you know, or whatever your work environment, just whatever is going to make you feel comfortable and inspire you is going to help you. The environment sets you up. Just like my grandfather's vegetable garden. His garden was immaculate. The weeds were gone, the bugs were gone, the soil was fertilized and, and nourished, and the plants, the, the tomatoes, are, the tomatoes are huge. Actually, I got my tomatoes growing outside, so um, <clears throat> so so it's it's how we it's how we look after our garden. It's, look, it's how we feed it and shelter it and, and, and give it love and how we look after it will set you up in, in, in losing weight for the very last time. And like I said, once again, thank you for your time. 
I'd be more than happy to answer any questions um, now or, or afterwards when you have any thoughts. And yes, I'm very passionate in, in what I do because I believe that when it comes to losing weight for the very last time, it's very, very important to make sure that your environment supports your goals, supports your weight loss, and gives you every chance that you have to achieve it and to lose weight for the very last time. I'm Sylvester, known as the Weight Loss King, helping women lose weight for the very last time. Thank you.